What's up guys? It's Becca and Kelsey coming at you with our favorite in-camera hacks. And I'm going to start off by talking about my floating ring shots that I do. I don't have flops right now, but we're going to use this twinkle light, which is also another great thing to have. So basically, all you do is grab the rings that you want. If you're just doing one ring, it's easier. If you have floss and you can tie it, you can tie the rings at multiple levels, which is awesome. So he did that one with like, looks like the rings are falling down? Yes. Yeah, so I just tied them at different levels and hung them. And usually you need a little bit of help and assistance for this because so if I'm someone has to hold it. And usually I do it like in hands or between shoes or something. So you just dangle the ring or rings above the hands or whatever you're going above, take a picture and then edit it out in Photoshop later. So just a little trick. And people are blown away by it. They're like, how did you do that? I was blown away by it. Yeah. Yeah, I had no idea it was floss. Yeah, it's just dental floss or whatever you can find. If you're smarter than me, you would just keep fishing line in your bag because it's handy for other things as well. But uh, I just use whatever's available. Do you sacrifice one of your hairs to get the shot? Probably. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's always on hand. Yeah. So the yeah. next trick is the old cell phone trick. So everyone's got like one of these guys these days. Almost always in your pocket. Yeah, true. So you make sure that, that it's, the screen is black first, so that's reflective. And then when you're shooting, you want to put it right underneath, and what that's going to get you is the reflection of what's happening above. If you want it to eliminate a parking lot full of cars in the, in the bottom and there's a really cool view up top, then boom, now you don't have to deal with that. I'll save it either side. Yeah, absolutely. So that's a really good one. Yeah. If you have a Canon, you can do in the camera double exposures. So you basically take a shot, select it, and then bring it up. And I usually go into live view so you can see what you're shooting through. And then you fill the subject area with whatever tree or beautiful flowers. And us Nikon users actually don't um, get that like little like extra help that the Canon users get. So really, we're more skilled with the multiple exposure we think about it, right? Because we, have to, we have to line it up like, you know, by memory. Yes. So what I normally do is I'm like, I put my, my subject like silhouette outline and like one of the rules of thirds. And then, I'm, and then the next shot that I take, I'll fill it in with the stuff. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know that that's actually done in camera. Yeah. Yeah, they think it's like a Photoshop trick. And it's fun to play because you can add tons of different things mm -hmm. into it. You can do silhouettes, you can use the black jacket of your groom or whatever and fill that with stuff like another picture of the couple and there's so many options and it's really pretty good. So how do they access that in their camera? On the 5T, this is the wrong camera, but there is a button with shooting modes and it's got multiple exposure. This is like a little double picture icon, you just click on that. You can do different modes like add, subtract, or multiply. They all give kind of different effects, but um, basically you're going to use additive, so it's just going to add the second layer to anything that is dark and leave anything that is white just all over this. Yeah. And icon, um, not that fancy, just go into the menu option and then go to multiple exposure. Pick how many images that you'd like to put. You can do 10 multiple exposures That's in one cool. if yeah. you want. Yeah, but that usually ends up a little messy. I find like I don't go beyond three because it just gets a little confusing. You need to do it really precisely. Like, totally. Yeah. Line up all the time. Too much work. Yeah. <laughs> Next is shooting through glass um, and other objects to get some like kind of dreamy effect. So I'm sure some of you have heard of prisms, you can get prisms, um, or something like this that Becca has. What do you call that? Ball. Like a David Bowie labyrinth. So you can thing. shoot through it so that it's upside down, or you can just use it to the side to add like a glowy, like a filter yeah. effect. If you didn't come prepared, however, you can always find some plastic. You just put that over your lens. Whoa. And like you know, make sure there's some part like poking out and this actually like will do some really cool flares and like other types Dreamy. of things. Yeah. Super classy. Ooh. Yeah, and it looks fresh. Yeah. <laughs> and then finally, I think one of our favorite things to use for photo shoots. Mm. Right? Yeah. Smoke. Yeah, we love smoke. We yeah. love all kinds of smoke. Yeah. So you can get a smoke machine actually for pretty cheap. I got this one like five years ago from Walmart for 60 bucks. Um, they're especially out in Walmart around Halloween. So that's pretty cool. And you can get big jars of liquid smoke that last forever as well. Yeah, one refill that lasts like eight hours, doesn't it? Totally. And you don't need that much. You're using little puffs of smoke for photo shoots usually. Yeah. But if you don't have access to like a power supply and you want something a little more creative. This is for inside too. The best right. thing about the fog machines in this is you can use it inside. To yeah. Get nice light rays. We don't really have like backlighting here, but I'll give you a little demo. This is a like basically atmosphere in a can. Uh, you can buy this on Amazon. 
and it's kind of like hairspray in a way, but if you just spray it, you can kind of get a little bit of haze happening. It's really cool. So yeah. if you're shooting in a barn or something with cracks and you shoot that, you're going to get the like streams coming in, which is nice. Yeah, absolutely. And smoke grenades, these are the funnest. You have to be a little bit careful with them because they are technically fireworks. They aren't supposed to fire, but sometimes they have sparks. Um, so put them in a metal bucket or have someone like holding them right. so that they're not on the ground starting. Also, when you do pull the pin, don't pull it like facing you. Uh, and don't pull it right out straight because the yeah. pin will just break off and won't do anything. You have to pull it down to the side and away from your face. But they're really cool because you can get all these different colors. This is blue, this is yellow. So for some really fun creative effects, you can use bright colors or you can just stick with white and use it uh, to make more of like a fog effect and use the remnants of it in the forest so it looks like fog could be around and then yeah. it. You know the white ones actually last longer? Really? Like I think these go for like 70 seconds, but the white ones um, will go for close to two minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's, cool. I, that's cool. They have yeah. black ones now too. Oh cool. But yeah, just uh, in the summer you gotta be really careful because they are fun. Yeah, and technically, technically illegal. So if you're using this in public, just like run away after. Yeah, but still use them. Yes. They are $12. Um, I bought this one for $12. I think it was on sale. They go between $12 and $15. Yeah. Uh, you can get them at your local paintball store. And another trick with these two is to pre-plan what you're going to do before you pull the pin. Yeah. Just go through all the poses that you're going to do with your clients so that you can nail as many. Otherwise, you're going to just be wasting a lot of money because it does go away fast. and. Also, just keeping check of which way the wind is blowing. Yes. Finally, unlike other smoke things that might not be available all the time um, due to like the illegal aspects of it or maybe some venues. the weather. Yeah, some venues don't like it. Uh, I have these little like streamer confetti cannons like kind of in my bag. It just like adds interest and you can get them online. I got this at Michael's in a big pack, um, which is pretty bad. So I'll show you what that looks like. Um, yeah, we should celebrate something with this. Yeah. Babies ever dreams. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys Woo! there. Woo! Uh, oh, it's attached. Yeah, look. That's amazing. You, you don't have to clean it up after. That's so cool. You just like, walk away with it. And you can just use this as a photograph. Yeah. <laughs> like. Look how good I look. <laughs> We're gorgeous. See you guys at their dream. Bye. <laughs>